In this video, I'll break down how to use my really cool lens flare transition pack, which is for sale on my store. The link is down in the description below. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I don't use Final Cut, I use DaVinci or I use Premiere Pro, can I still use these really cool transitions? And the answer is yes. These are not plugins or presets, they're just simply overlays. So once you purchase the Lens Flare Transition Pack, it should just send you a zip file. All you wanna do to unzip a file is go ahead and just double click it, and you will unzip that um, file. And it should just come with a folder with the lens called Lens Flare Transitions, and all 14 Lens Flare Transitions should be inside that folder. Now they're just simply .mov uh, files. Now what I would encourage you to do is go ahead and take this folder and place it somewhere where you can remember. For example, I have all of my editing assets on my Samsung T7 hard drive, so when I'm editing videos, I can go ahead and just import any assets I want because it's all on the Samsung T7 hard drive. So just go ahead and place this folder where you're gonna remember it. And again, like I said, it's probably good to place all of your assets onto some sort of hard drive like a Samsung T7 or a Lacy hard drive. Now that you have Final Cut open, let me go ahead and show you how to actually import these overlays into Final Cut. So all you wanna do is click on Command I to bring up the import window, then you just want to locate where you have them saved. For example, I have them saved my editing assets in my Samsung T7 hard drive. If I scroll down and I go over here to Lens Flare Transitions, you, you can either select on the folder and then import that, or you can go ahead and just simply open up the folder. So with this, with this down arrow, you can go ahead and just open up the folder. And as you can see here, they all are. So go ahead and go right here. Here's one of them right here. This is basically what they look like. They're just like .mov. Of folders or MOV um, video clips and there you go just simple as that now for example let's say we want to import lens flare transition 09 go ahead and just select on the actual like video clip and then just click on import selected and then we'll just import into Final Cut as you can see lens flare transition 09 just as simple as that so it's basically you're just importing this like you would a photo or a video clip so it'll just it'll, it'll just appear in your import window so let's say we want to use lens flare transition 09 go ahead and just take it and just drag it on top or just drag it onto the timeline as you can see and there you go now you have this really cool like lens flare transition if we go ahead and play the clip right here this is what it looks like obviously that doesn't quite look right but you go ahead and tweak it a little bit so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the brightest part in the clip so example let's say maybe like um, right here this is like the, you want to basically you're trying to find like the middle of the clip or you're, try, you're just trying to find like the brightest part in the clip so let's say like right here is probably like the brightest part so go ahead and just have your playhead hover over where you want and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on the M key so click on the M key which will create a marker now what you want to do is you want to place that point in between the two clips so go ahead you see right here you're just gonna go ahead and place that in between the two clips as you can see on screen right here go ahead and play this is what it should look like now what I go ahead and do is we're going to select on the overlay itself head over here to blend mode and you're going to change the blend mode from normal to screen so basically now you can see the video below it so again you're placing it in between the two uh, in between the two clips basically just where the cut is happening so we go ahead and play it right here now you have this really cool lens flare transition. Let me go ahead and show you a couple other things you can do to make it look even cooler. You can actually head over here to the effects panel right here go to all then we can go ahead and just type in hue and uh, saturation so apply the hue slash uh, saturation effect onto your actual lens flare overlay onto the lens flare clip right there so go ahead and just simply place it onto the clip as you can see you can go to the hue and you can actually change the color so you can make it a whole bunch of different colors for example we can go ahead and let's uh, move this all the way up to like 150 and as you can see now you actually you've changed you've made the lens flare um like orange so we go ahead and see Here's, but here's it's blue, but if you add a hue slash saturation effect, you can actually change color. Just, you could also go ahead and change it to maybe like, let's say like a purple color to go ahead and see right here. You just change the hue. Now it, uh, now it has this really cool like purple color. So you can go through and just mess with a whole bunch of different colors. So let's say purple, we want to change it maybe a different color, something like this, maybe like more of like a green, uh, yellowish color. So you see, we go ahead and play the clip right there and there you go. So it actually gives you, you're actually able to change the actual color. You're not just stuck to just a blue overlay and you can also head over here to the color tab go over here you can actually add like a color wheel if you want 
you can go over here to highlights and you can actually increase the highlight or increase the global so you can actually like make the lens flare transition brighter if you want it to be if it's not as bright as you'd like it to be you can just simply adjust it and there you go now you have this like really cool like lens flare um, overlay I, those are just a couple of things that I want to go over you're not just stuck to just a blue overlay you can make it brighter or you can if you want to completely change the color again what I would say to in my opinion the best color is going ahead and changing it to around like 150 I feel like it's the best because that gives you kind of that nice orange color and as, as you see if you, with the color wheels you can make it brighter so let's say we don't want that bright we can go ahead and disable the color wheel and now we have a much more subtle effect so there we go that's basically what you can do it it's very customizable and you're not just stuck to just this overlay you can go through and mess with a whole bunch of different uh settings and that is how you use my really cool lens flare transitions pack these are just very simple subtle transitions you can add on top of your video clips just to make your video look a lot cooler i really like lens flare transitions or film burn transitions they're very easy they're very subtle but they add a little bit to your video make the video look a lot more dynamic so hopefully you found this video helpful and informative again the link to these will be down down in the description below if you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more of these types of videos make sure to hit that subscribe button again if you're looking for some really cool final cut pro plugins presets and transitions along with this one i have a whole bunch of them on my digital store again the link is down in the description below anyways i will see you in the next one peace